Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, would you pronounce your name? Because Desjardins gets butchered all the time, and I don't want to start off saying yours wrong. Rhymes with stereo. Ferio. Ferio. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, we, we started in on this discussion just now on, on the 30-year uh, problem in document preservation. I think maybe we should explore that further. And Mr. Stern, uh, certainly feel free to jump in. Uh, does the NARA favor elimination of the current 30-year presumption? Yes. And, and I just add, the 30-year issue is about uh, when they transfer permanent records into the National Archives. For agencies, only a tiny fraction of the, all the records they create are permanent for transfer into the archives. And our concern is on permanent records, we want to ensure we get them as early as possible so that we don't have a, a problem of, of format obsolescence. Often on presidential record keeping, is it common that uh, on the second term they are more aggressive at getting these archived? Is it something, your presumption, that we should start earlier in uh, a president's term? Well, I mean, the advantage of in any presidential term, even two terms, that is only eight years at the longest. So that is relatively recent enough that that we are able to get, the, uh, get all the records in, uh, in a reasonable good format. But we, are, uh, we work with the uh, new administration on day one, and from our perspective, we are planning a transition the first day the President is in office in terms of working and coordinating to ensure that all records, and particularly electronic records, will be in the right shape and format so they can be transferred to us when the President uh, leaves office. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ferrario, which and how many Federal agencies currently take advantage of pre-accessioning and turn over their documents before they are required to do so? Pre-accessioning? The uh, early turnover of documents. Only about half a dozen. Half a dozen? Right. And you would like to see that? In I would be, um, actually, as the archivist, I would be um, really interested in getting in at the creation um, and not, and so that we have uh, better control. What part of the Federal Records Act would have to be updated to eliminate the current 30-year presumption? I believe it is Section 2107, 2108 uh, have, have language uh, with respect to the agency retention up to 30 years. Okay. Would the NARA prefer a default preservation rule that requires periodic turnover, quarterly, semiannually, annually, of uh, agency electronic documents? We are um, exploring various models. Okay. Uh, Mr. Stern, would the NARA be able to handle a shift to periodic submission of agency electronic documents at current funding and, and person, personnel levels? Yeah, we, we think we will. I mean, in, in terms of pre -ex the issues of pre-accessioning, we would just get copies for storage in its original format. The agencies would still have legal custody and be responsible for access, use, all of those issues until there is the formal legal transfer, which still could take place many years down the line. We just want to ensure we get a copy set uh, that we can preserve in, in that um, original format. Okay, Mr. Ferriero, uh, shifting gears a little bit, the Federal Records Act appears to split the responsibility for managing Federal records between the NARA and GSA. Is this by design or a remnant of the old GSA authorizing statute? This is a remnant. Okay. Uh, 1985, the, the agency separated from GSA, and that um, still is in the law. Are there any practical functional problems as a result of the fact that the Federal Records Act talks of GSA as having a role in the Federal Record Management? Not really. Okay. And they have never exercised any, um, at, at least in my experience, they have never exercised any authority over records. Okay. And do you have any um, idea what GSA's perspective is regarding possible clarification of duties? I'm sure they would be amenable. They, they'd favor it. I, I would. Okay. I would guess. All right. Um, Mr. Stern, what parts of the Federal Records Act would have to be updated to clarify NARA's exclusive custodial role? Uh, I believe that's in uh, um, Chapter 29. Is, is where to talk about the responsibilities of the archivist and the administrator of GSA. So that would be a place to look to to, to clarify that issue. Okay. And Mr. Colangio, I wasn't meaning to ignore you. I was afraid I might mispronounce your, your name as well, but I'm out of time and I'll yield back, uh, Mr. Chairman.